After his spell in the guardroom, rebel Alan Brown finally rejoins his platoon for the company sergeant major's infamous muster parade. Some lads are eagerly getting themselves and their billets up to scratch. whilst others don't seem as bothered. I'm ready. Floor needs a mop. I'm not in charge today, so I'm going to have my fag. I've sorted all my shit out. Stand it! Out! This is the first time the lads will come face to face with Company Sergeant Major Glenn Thomas, the most senior non-commissioned officer in the camp. When the Sergeant Major comes to you, state your number, rank, and name. Two two four seven five nine four three. Private Shuttler, sir. Private Shuttler, when was the last time you picked your nose? Yesterday, sir. I suggest you do it next time before you come on parade, okay? There is snot up your nostrils. Yes, sir. March this man away. Two two five two nine six four eight. Private Harkin, sir. The next time you turn up on my parade with sleep in your left eye, the corner of, you'll be marched off this parade into jail. Next time you turn up my parade with your tie skew with to the point where I believe you obviously don't give much care or attention and you really don't care about us inspecting you, again, you'll be marched off this parade. The next time you turn up with brass, in fact, you will now be marched off this parade. Get this man locked up, get him beasted, get him sorted. He is a mess. Sam! Convicted drink driver Chris Harkin, nicknamed Lucifer, is the dirtiest recruit of all. Two two five seven three three oh eight, private second army, sir. We're gonna do it one more time. If you spit at me again, I'm gonna jail you. Two two five seven three three oh eight, private second army, sir. That's better. I didn't even have to blink that time. Swallow your saliva before you have to call your number out. That will avoid spitting on the Sergeant Major. I do not like being spat on, Private Zachariah, Zacharumi, or whatever your name is. So ensure the next time that I inspect you, there will be no saliva in your mouth, reasonably dry. When you state your army number and your name, you will not shower me with spittles. For all I know, you can have some contagious, sexually transmitted disease, which I've now bloody well got. How am I going to explain that to my missus? How? Why have you got a hole in your chin? I don't know, sir! It seems to me that Sergeant Major may have prodded your chin with a paste stick. On this occasion, however, you are not badly turned out. Therefore, I will not be prodding your chin with a paste stick. Alan Brown's stint in jail means he hasn't even mastered the basics. 2281, 2203, sir. Mm. Private Brown, sir. Tell you what, I'm going to step back in time, OK? And I'm going to come back to you in two seconds. I don't know my number. Shut sir. it! Shut it! Don't speak until I tell you to! I've now stepped back in time. I'm now going to come again. Private Brown, sir. You don't know your number yet? No, sir. Not properly, sir. Get him in jail! Get everything off him! Get him inside! That piece of shit! Your shit. Get him away! Your shit! Start putting the effort in, and maybe at the end of the time here, you might start looking like soldiers, instead of what you do at the moment, which is bags of potatoes tied in the middle. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir! Sun Ray, sir. carry on. Sir.